Today we need to talk about Jungkook getting apparently angry and wanting fans to stop this action. We also have a hot topic of BTS being involved in a recent drug scandal and then we have Dispatch being brought up recently. So hey dumplings, it's Dave Desai, hater or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Go ahead with dumplings, hey spilling with merch and let's go. Dispatch was recently looked into, and not formally by the police or anything like that, which is quite surprising, but also not surprising, as it's rumored that Dispatch has relationships with idols or labels. So a lot of the stuff that seems like stalking could possibly be planned or premeditated. But Dispatch was involved in a photo that had nothing to do with them. Maybe there's been a lot of rumors that BTS has been working with Dispatch since the beginning. And the reason this is believed is because a lot of members of groups are often reported when they're dating, but BTS is never had a report on that. And people believe that maybe there was a monetary reason as to why Dispatch would feel inclined to not post whatever member. And other people have theorized that Dispatch had attempted to post about the members dating, but a lot of that was less fruitful as they might have followed BTS around to realize that the boys don't actually do anything. One photo that pushed this theory a bit more was when it was believed that Dispatch took a photo of Jungkook from afar riding a scooter to the store or get banana milk. Of course, this photo literally looks like a stalker or paparazzi took it because it was from afar and it was really believed that Jungkook at the time had exited a building that was believed to be where he lived. This photo then went viral on social media with people praising Jungkook of being so obsessed with banana milk and others using this to say that BTS is always honest with ARMY and doesn't spend their time getting into scandals. But even if Jungkook was literally spotted outside his apartment making out with someone, this is literally not an actual scandal. That is literally a human being being human. It's one thing to say that he is not being a role model if he's seen doing coke or something, but to see him doing what your kids and what the parents even do is literally not a scandal. But what was interesting was this alleged photo was pulled into question recently. People started to question if this was even real after they noticed a tagged name on the photo. And it turns out that this was just a fan that had spotted Jungkook and then snapped the photo. However, he must have felt very frustrated when everyone one, including myself, had referenced this photo as a dispatch photo. I will say that actually makes a lot more sense to me because I always felt like if this was something that dispatch caught, why would they post it? This is not news that Jungkook went downstairs to buy banana milk and also makes Dispatch look like they can't get a story. It also furthers the rumor that BTS and Dispatch have a collaboration together because then, as of now, there's literally no photos other than official photos that exist where Dispatch found BTS and then took these paparazzi style photos. It would also explain why there aren't ever that many Hive artist Dispatch photos either. I think it would actually be extremely smart of a label and entertainment company to get in touch and build a strong relationship with paparazzi or news companies in case they need to get a message out urgently or better yet if they want to stage a publicity stunt, which is a lot less likely, but maybe more likely in the future because in K-pop any publicity stunt is considered a scandal because how dare they try to get attention. People get so mad over this type of stuff and it's literally not a big deal at all. I really don't care if artists do things to get attention because that is literally their job. They can't have a career or have people listen to their music without attention. And I think this is normal for businesses to even do. And it's a big deal when a person who has 50 employees under them tries their hardest to maintain the business so everyone working for them can still have jobs. I rarely ever understand that backlash. Not that BTS has had any real big publicity stunts, but if it were to ever publicly come out that the boys go to the airport and the press is called to be there, people would look at BTS or K-pop differently to say that they're all clout chasers. And it's like, yeah, it's their job. Jungkook has been more open about his feelings and to that I think it's because he is really there's a lot of conflicting information that exists online and people don't actually know the truth about the industry or just how the members feel. Jungkook has always been called the young one. He has always been expected to just do things the quote unquote proper way because he is the youngest and how dare he grow older. He mentioned this during a stream before where he addressed his feelings on that and basically said that he has grown up now and he basically says the phrase I am not a baby which is basically his way of saying like enough. And I've seen this before. The most 
frustrating thing about this is that even people who are blatantly younger than him call him a baby, and it's weird. Jungkook has proven time and time again during his solo that he's an adult now, and people don't need to treat him like he's 12 or that he needs a 12 year old to fight for him online. Jungkook likely does not want people to treat him like this, and it actually has nothing to do with shedding your old image. Zero to do with that. It has everything to do with being honest with yourself. If you are a person who absolutely despises something like an action, there's probably a big reason. Chances are you won't ever do that thing. Exceptions exist, of course, but I'd say most people are like this. I hate smoking, I refuse to smoke, never touch it, and won't ever. But the fact that Jungkook is doing a lot of these quote unquote adult things now means that these were things that were always things that he wanted to do to some degree, and now he has had the chance to express himself as an older person, he will. And so it's not shedding his old self, it's him finally being himself. Jungkook has also done this with tattoos and fans were highly against this too. If this was not something that represented him, he did not have to do any of that. And to say that the new version of Jungkook, the more sexual version, is not the real Jungkook, why does he think it's cool? Literally, he would be utterly uncomfortable being a person that he hated unless he saw himself somewhat in that version we see now. So stop calling him a baby and see him as a literal adult that he is. I think given the fact that a lot of people have seen BTS in different light lately due to them showing their more human side, people think that they have vices and some think that they have really bad vices. There's been ongoing rumors that BTS was involved in a drug scandal. Spoiler alert, they are not. I don't know where this rumor came from and some are alleging that it came from another group's fans. So for example, Blinks who are notoriously known for hating armies and it goes both ways, obviously. So what happened? If you're not aware, G-Dragon as well as actor Lee Sung Hyung were allegedly involved in a drug scandal. The scandal with the actor consists of many things, one of them being him going to what is known as a room salon and being a VIP there. And you can use your imagination as to what goes on there, like drinking and those things. Now, G-Dragon's case is very separate from the actors and his drug scandal stems from ages ago and just things that he has believed is responsible for. They are not involved, but I understand if you thought they were because all the headlines are putting them together. But because of the actor situation, a lot of K-pop is being put under a microscope. And the only reason this becomes an issue to labels is because investors start to pull out when they realize these things are coming public. Investors couldn't care less if the scandal remains private, but because they can still make money, no issues for them. But once public, they're gone. The scandal got so big that some K-pop labels, including Hive, ended up having their stock drop, with some dropping 12%. Now, where does BTS fall into this? Realistically, nowhere. They're not involved, but in this delusional world of K-pop fans, they were. Someone who pretended to either be from a news agency or from a label pretended to write on a Korean social media site called DC Inside, which is very similar to Reddit, known as the sister to Reddit, and they posted on there to say that BTS had frequent the room salon or hostess club and likely drank or did whatever there too. This then was taken and went viral as people were shocked to see BTS's name being dropped, but it was clear that, the, that this person was just trying to start something with BTS's name and just saying words. Shortly after this, it was believed the same person came out and said that they were lying and couldn't believe how easy it was to trick everyone. It must have felt so special as their post had gotten all this news coverage. I will say this is not something you should be proud of, making up false accusations on someone and then making it appear like there's evidence or that it's real. Hive later came out to address it and likely what all the other members were thinking, which was that they were not involved in any shape or form and Hive will be taking legal action on those who spread the rumor or accuse them of being a part of it. I would say that all the members probably had a similar reaction to what Hive said and would hope for legal action as well, because enough is enough. And I think even Jungkook, the super sweet soul who likes to let rumors and hate comments go, would even come out and object to such claims. These are not comments like you're ugly or whatever, but comments that literally insinuate the members are doing illegal things, which is straight up defamation. It does cause financial damage to the idols and labels as we are seeing their stock drop. So anyone who started this and was pushing that it was true will literally have to owe millions. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos, link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you, bye.